Hello African Confessions, I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and it comes from that long message that was sent to our admins by one of our listeners. The message reads like this. One morning I was supposed to drive out of town because there was this other friend of mine who was traveling from his country he was going to come to my country because we had something to talk about this friend of mine he was also a pastor he was also involved in all of these rituals but he got his rituals in india i wanted to ask him a lot of questions because i heard that the pastors that go to get their powers in india they are the most powerful I was on this quest to become a very powerful pastor. So I had invited him to pay me a visit when he was in our region and he agreed. After he had had his vacation with his family, he told me that he will be flying into my country and I had to meet up with him so that we can have a discussion. Then he will fly back to that national park where he had left his family continuing with their vacation. So I was rushing out of town to go and pick up a friend of mine who was going to be touching down at our local airport. By the way, I forgot to tell you that money was just flowing in. Money was coming from everywhere. There was this other ritual that I had to perform each and every time when I would go to church so that when I talk about money, people will have the zeal to come and pledge or offer their money. We will be doing free will offering and all of the programs that we did in my church, most of these programs were about money. We will say that we need a new church building. We need to buy a truck for the church. We need to do this throughout the service. We will be talking about money and nothing else. But even though I had all of this money, people were gifting me left, right and center. But still, I didn't have anyone to enjoy this money with. I had those beautiful women that I was paying for their time, but still I was not allowed to get married because already I was married to my mad albino woman, but now I was avoiding her because sometimes I'll find out that by the time that I would want to have intercourse with her, she would have not bathed maybe for two months and this was quite difficult for me. I was not supposed to force her to bath or to brush her teeth and whenever I will call her into my bedroom I was supposed to treat her with respect to kiss her from the top of her head down to her feet just imagine kissing someone who hasn't bathed for the past two months and there is something about a woman's body if a woman doesn't bath there is a smell that will come out just imagine that this lady, she will go on her periods. I will buy her some sanitary pads. Sometimes she will wear them. Sometimes she will just eat them up. I was not supposed to interfere with her behavior. I had to leave her like that. But 24-7, this albino woman, she was supposed to be kept in my yard, well fed, and I gave her everything. She had a maid only the maid that was looking after this woman, she was also involved in these rituals. Back to my story, I have listened to this pastor who was confessing here on this platform and it is true, especially to those who get the muti from East Africa or Ghana to be specific. They are not allowed to marry. I have seen this plan in action. I was longing for real companionship and yet my life was empty. The most painful thing that you have these beautiful women that you are dating, but all of them, when you look at them, you just see that they are just empty vessels. With all of their beautiful calves, you just see that the reason why they are with you, it is because at the end of the night, you are going to be paying them a lot of money. Most of these women that I was dating, I was actually booking them from their agents as if they are a product. But I kept on feeling empty because with those women, I was told that I was not supposed to discuss anything about my private life. 
it was just meant to be fun and nothing else. In the beginning of my journey, everything was perfect. But the more that I dated all of these women that were not intelligent, who thought that their body was the key to success, I began to regret the choice that I had made in my life of sacrificing my own mother. I guess that God was not happy with me. Like my mother used to tell me in my dreams whenever she would visit me, she will say that God is not happy with you, my son. Instead of me bringing his lost sheep back into the fold, I was busy misleading them. I had turned into a cold-hearted evil person. I felt that my life had took a wrong turn because of the way that I had sacrificed my mom. Back to the story. As I drove off town, I got to an intersection and as I approached, I saw that same albino woman, the same one that I had left back at my house. I was quite sure that I had left that albino woman back at my place, so I didn't understand how come she was there, standing in the middle of the road. I quickly stopped my car and I got out of my car. I shouted at her. I was not afraid of her because she was my sacrifice. I asked her, what are you doing? Go back home. Then she turned around. She started to cry. And when she was crying, I saw that the tears that were flowing from her face filled up the road with blood. My heart skipped and I was filled with fear. I ran back into my car. I drove my car to the airport and I picked up my friend at the airport. When my friend asked me, why are you late? I told him everything that had happened to me. So we went to this local expensive restaurant so that we can just catch up before we could travel to the hotel where he was staying. As we had ordered food, the waitress came and then she asked us which drinks did we want. Me and my friend, we were in the middle of an intense discussion because he was telling me all of the rituals that he performed and how he had gone to take the and how he had gone to get those powers in India. And when I lifted my head, I screamed because the waiter had transformed into that same albino mad woman that I was keeping at my house. I screamed and everyone just looked at us. My friend told me to calm down, otherwise people would think that I was losing my mind. I felt to talk. Me and my friend, we just walked out of that restaurant without eating, without doing anything. My friend assisted me in paying the bills because I was shaking so much. I even felt to pull out my bank card from my wallet because of the way that I was shaking. I had completely lost it. My life was going down the drain right in front of me and yet I kept on hearing this voice in my head which was whispering to me that you deserve it. You brought all of this pain upon yourself. But at church, I had become the most talked about pastor. Whenever I walked into church, people would scream and start talking in those demonic tongues. They looked up to me. Yet I was just an evil man and they had nothing to admire about me. But in this world that we are living in, money talks. If a pastor is rich, then we all think that automatically he is closer to God. Money I would have, but I was not allowed to give anyone directly into their hands. I went to the cult leader who told me that the lady's ancestors were angry. That is why I had seen her crying a river of blood when she was standing in the middle of the road. So I had to appease the dark world to remove that very dark cloud that was now following me. When you start this journey, you keep on sleeping and it's like a landslide and once you are in it, you won't get out. I asked him, how am I supposed to sacrifice this time, oh my dear master? And he told me everything that I was supposed to do. Right there, I was angry with him and later on, he punished me. I was not in a position to ask the grand master what the instruct the instruction was clear i had to sacrifice another innocent life but i was going to be punished later on in my life because i had dared to question the grand master 
I started drinking myself to sleep, yet I was a man of God. Sundays, I would show up at church, preach and pretend to be holy, yet deep inside I was dying. The devil had put me in a very tight corner. I wanted to leave this cult with all my heart. So many nights when I'll be in bed with all of these prostitutes, I wanted to tell them everything that was going on. I wanted to tell them that the money that I was giving them, they were actually selling off the future of their generation to me. There was a case that was placed on that money, but I could not tell any of those women that I'll end up in bed with. I was not given an option. A few months later, I went back to that leader who told me that, I had to sacrifice and I had to do this in time or else I will go mad because I kept on dreaming about that woman, the same one that I had forced her to do an abortion but she didn't know that I had spoken with my friend doctor to terminate the pregnancy that she was carrying. That lady kept on troubling me so I had to do this sacrifice. The thing that was happening to me, whenever I would try to eat, she would appear. I kept on losing weight. I was no longer in the right frame of mind. Whenever I'll be in church, if I would see that lady, I'll pretend as if the Holy Spirit have possessed my body. And But when I was busy worshipping and calling out the name of the demons that were assigned to me so that they can chase away this woman, people thought that these were the works of the Holy Spirit. But I was just doing this for the show. I had to move on time and make a better decision. Otherwise, I was going to go crazy. Dear listeners, this was part of a message that I received from our admins. I'll be waiting for this story. Please let us meet again in the following episode.